Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Archon and today I'm gonna be showing you guys all the settings and like hardware and software on how I use to stream and you know sometimes record my YouTube videos in case you guys are curious because you know most people don't necessarily talk about this type of stuff behind the scenes but yeah I'm actually showing you how to capture and stream PS5 gameplay footage without using any capture cards at all just the software that you install on your PC. <laughs> Now for PS5, this will actually let you stream at 1080p, but I think on PS4 it's limited to 720. However, this method does technically work for both systems. Now, a couple things that I recommend before we actually start this tutorial, alright? One, decent internet connection. Mine is like 200 download, like 10 to 15 upload, good enough. It works lag free. I don't lag in game and my stream doesn't lag. Two, you're gonna need two mics if you actually do want to talk into your PlayStation as well. I'm, I'm using here, I don't know if you guys can see, probably can't see very well, but uh, Blue Snowball to talk into my stream, and my Astro headset talks into my PlayStation, alright, so you can still talk in game chat. And finally, I'd recommend at least two monitors so that you could actually, you know, stream effectively, have the chat pulled up on one end, you know, your game on the other, but I guess it can technically be done with one, however, you know, if you're getting into streaming, definitely recommend at least two in general like even if you're not streaming off a of ps5 but yeah that being said let's go ahead and get right into this video yo what is going on guys it's your boy archon and today i'm gonna be showing you guys the method that i use for ps5 this also works on ps4 by the way to live stream through obs and also capture footage without using any dedicated capture cards now, if you are planning to buy an actual capture card, then I highly recommend the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra or the Elgato 4K60 Pro if your PC has room for it. Unfortunately, I have a micro ATX motherboard, so I'd definitely have to go with Avermedia if I chose to purchase one. So the first thing you're going to need is PlayStation Remote Play. So you just want to go ahead and scroll over to the PlayStation website and download Remote Play for Windows PC. Once you have the app installed, you want to go ahead and run it. And you can actually see that my PS5 is already connected here, as well as my PS4, which I previously used. However, the first thing that you actually have to do if this is your first time is go ahead and sign into the account you intend to use this software with. Now, some important things to know is that this must be a secondary account that you do not plan on using for any gaming related purposes, because you will not be able to game on this account while the remote play is active. So I highly recommend you set up a complete dummy account on your PlayStation for this specific purpose. As you can see mine is specifically titled SharePlay and this basically sits in the background to stream my PlayStation screen. Now I am currently connected to the Remote Play software but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what settings to change to allow this connection. So first you go to the settings menu on the top right hand corner and just scroll straight down to system alright. And here you should see a specific Remote Play tab and basically you just want to make sure that this is checked on remote play enabled and now i'm pretty sure you guys can notice this uh watermark here that completely like ruins the gameplay and looks horrible you know you don't want your stream to see that right now previously all you had to do was close the software and start it back up again however at the time of recording the workaround for this is actually to switch the language to a different language that is not English because if you use English then that watermark will be there permanently but now that I switched to Spanish you see that it's gone and you know that's basically the workaround to it and don't worry because you could switch it right back to English and it'll still like disappear it's it's not gonna come back after that you just basically have to toggle the language really quickly and then switch back and you should be good to go so once you do all of that, now you should be able to stream your PlayStation screen to your PC at actually 1080p. I was surprised by this. It's actually way better on the PS5, the remote play feature. And another benefit of the PS5 is that you can actually still use the built-in capture card to like clip any gameplay while the remote play is active because on PS4 you are limited to one or the other. So that's also a big step up in the right direction. Obviously, I don't have any gameplay that I had to, you know, flashback record currently since I just turned the system on. But yeah, you can actually still use like the clipping feature on the PlayStation itself while remote play is active. So that's another important thing to know. And the clips themselves can also be captured in 1080p. All right, so for the mix amp wiring, 
this is actually my line in port this runs into the back of my computer as you can see it's just an aux cord runs into the back of my pc this is the usb cable which is where i hear my game audio from this runs into the playstation and this is an aux cord that allows me to hear like any spotify or youtube or anything from my pc that runs directly into my speaker as you can see there's a port right here for my aux cable so i can use earphones on the speakers themselves and i adjust the volume through here if i want to and yeah this other last cable basically runs from my headset to the mix amp itself just so that i could hear everything going in and out of this thing so yeah that's basically how i route my audio with an astro mix amp all right, so here's the wiring if you're using a non-mix amp headset. Basically, I still recommend the USB mic to plug into your PC so you could talk to the stream. Now just go ahead and connect your headset to the computer through the speakers or the green aux port in the back of your PC. And you can listen to game sound from there through the remote play window. This will pick up PS5 game and chat audio for you and your stream to hear. As long as you set the PS5 audio settings to HDMI output. The main downside of no mix amp is that you can't split game and desktop audio tracks. So you and your stream have to listen to everything including game sound through the green aux port on your PC. You also need a second USB mic if you want to talk in party or game chat on PS5. Whereas a mix amp lets you talk and hear the PS5 audio directly from the system itself. On top of letting you adjust game and desktop audio levels separately. So moving along, you can actually still live stream if you don't have a USB mic for your computer. You just need to purchase one of these audio splitters so you can talk from the mic on your headset. Basically plug this into the pink and green ports behind your PC so you could hear any game and desktop audio as well as talk to your stream. However, you still won't be able to adjust game and desktop audio levels separately. Once again, you must also make sure that the PS5 audio is set to HDMI output and you will still need an extra USB mic if you want to talk into your PlayStation Party or Game Chat. And one final tip for both of these setups is that you should definitely mute your monitor so that your stream mic doesn't actually pick up an echo and make your stream audio have bad quality, because the PS5 will send sound to the monitor when you select HDMI output, which is what we need for our stream to hear PlayStation audio, including game sound and party chat. So yeah, mute monitor to avoid echo. And obviously your PC is connected to your monitor screens with the HDMI to monitor Twitch chat and OBS in case anybody needed clarification. Now, in order for remote play to pick up all your audio, including party chat, the best setting to use on your audio output is actually through in HDMI or amplifier. However, with the Astro headset that I'm using, the mix amp actually does have an output port, so I could just connect the line in directly into my computer. That completely bypasses any PlayStation settings and basically records anything that I hear on my headset to the PlayStation itself. However, if your headset does not have a mix amp, then go ahead and leave that on HDMI and you're gonna have to listen to your audio through the computer itself and not your actual PlayStation. Now, this isn't the end of the world because there's very little visual or audio delay if you have a good connection, right? That's one thing that I should mention, that this capture method is completely wireless. However, it does require decent internet, so keep that in mind. So with the connection out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into OBS, all right? So I'm currently in studio mode so I can actually record my dashboard, but on the left side, we have my PlayStation stream. Now, in order to actually stream your PlayStation screen, you want to go ahead and run the Remote Play app as usual, right? As how I just showed you. And you actually want to go ahead and maximize the entire screen. Now, as you can see by that, I'm actually recording my monitor screen. I'm not actually recording the window itself as I recommend you guys to do. But for you guys to record the window, you just want to go ahead and uh, add a source down here. And click on Window Capture. I already have one added here titled PlayStation screen and then it should prompt you with all of these properties right you get to select which window itself you actually want to record and make sure you select remote play exe ps remote play and it should work fine after that once again make sure that your window is completely maximized otherwise it'll look like this as you can see there's a lot of black space so you want to go ahead and maximize that and another thing i should mention is that you should be running remote play underneath the same screen that you're playing on so when you switch sources back to your playstation the remote play window will be running underneath that and not taking up the desktop space on your secondary monitor so this is basically what i mean by switching sources guys i'm pretty sure some of you already know but as you can see, I'm on my desktop screen right here and I have remote play running. You don't actually want to play from the remote play window. This is just to stream your gameplay. So you want to 
go ahead and switch to your actual PS5 source. And once you do that, the actual PS5 screen will pop up. So this is your actual PS5 screen. Not not the not the desktop window. Alright. As you can see my cursor will not pop up here. Twitch chat, OBS, PS5 screen, remote play running underneath this screen. And it'll still capture your gameplay, no problems. Now the benefits of using OBS to actually stream rather than the PlayStation itself is, you know, like overlays and alerts like we have on the bottom here. And you can also add your custom webcam and borders and everything like that, right? Now here you can see all the various sources I actually have in my stream itself. Obviously the overlay, you know, my Discord chat if we're talking in there, my Twitch alerts and whatever else you have. I'm not going to show you guys how to set that all up because this is just a game capture tutorial. There's plenty of good content out there on YouTube for you to look this up for yourself. However, let's get back into the main point of this video. Now, as you guys can probably notice, the audio levels are actually moving around right here. You won't be able to hear it because I'm editing that out in my actual video, but the audio levels are moving around on my computer audio section, which I do not want. All right, you see that? Definitely, definitely not something that I want to pop up there. It should be popping under my PlayStation audio section. So in order, in order to actually remove this audio from popping up here, I notice this is like a li like a little routine that you kind of have to do. Is that you actually have to bring up your sound settings. Make sure you you right click on that and click open sound settings, app and volume preferences. And just switch this around to one of the one of the sources that you're not actually using as you can see like my master like my master fucking source is the is the speakers that I have connected to my desktop and you know there's all these other sources that I don't actually use like my monitors and everything so you want to go ahead and select one of the monitors that like you're not using obviously your monitors like they should all be muted you don't know how to do that well like just you have to look that up on your specific monitor but it should have like buttons on the side that allow you to do so make sure that the uh, monitor is muted this is how mine works there's a knob in the back you just scroll down to the little speaker icon scroll to mute and make sure that mute is on which i did for myself and you actually do have to switch this every time i usually switch between my two side monitors and don't worry guys no audio will come out of the monitors themselves as long as you mute them and your stream will not record the audio twice so go ahead and change that audio setting that way it doesn't you know barge in on your computer audio where you get your alerts or any music and whatnot all right now to add your astro headset sound you want to go ahead and add an audio input capture not output because you're actually going to be sending audio through an aux cord which i will go ahead and show you guys in a bit but you want to go ahead and add an audio input capture and where it says properties you want to select line in on your pc which is basically the blue aux cable in the back of your computer because there should be like three of them the green one is for audio output that's what you connect your speakers to but the blue one is for audio in where you actually send noise for your computer to like receive so yeah make sure you select line in and yeah that should work perfectly if you're using an astro headset so if i go ahead and unmute it you guys can now hear my PlayStation sound. And that is how I that is how I like to go about my uh my PlayStation audio cuz I use an Astro headset. However, if you aren't using an Astro headset, you're using like an aux cord, then you are going to have to go ahead and leave that on HDMI and allow the the audio to come through from the computer audio section. Now, another thing to mention about audio is that your computer audio section should actually be linked to your desktop's main audio device which you can you know see by quickly selecting your little speaker icon on the on the toolbar here on the bottom and that is my speakers hd audio and it's the same thing so basically that will let you adjust the levels of like spotify or if you're watching a video on stream independently of your actual game audio which will be down here on the bottom so this will only pick up like your Spotify, YouTube, anything else from your computer. And this will only pick up sounds from your PlayStation. Now, one final thing about the Astro MixAmp audio is that you want to go ahead and open the actual Astro Command Center itself. Go ahead and download this for Windows if you haven't already from the Astro website. 
and you want to make sure that everything else is muted except for the chat audio button because the chat audio button is where the audio comes in from the usb port and if you know about astros and ps5 there is actually no digital optical cable so if there was digital optical cable you would want to leave chat audio and game audio you want to want to leave both of those unmuted however since i'm using all usb audio now i want to go ahead and mute everything else except chat audio so microphone you want to go ahead and mute that because if not your mic will be coming out twice on the from the actual microphone you have connected into your pc and the microphone you have connected into your headset so go ahead and mute microphone and go ahead and mute aux cord which is you know the aux cord on the bottom of the mix amp for you to add other sources because if you're listening to music and stuff from from your pc into your headset as well it will it will come out twice on stream because you know the pc audio is already coming out under the computer audio section on obs so Make sure you mute everything except chat audio for PS5 purposes, all right? So yeah, once that is done, you want to go ahead and click sync to device. I already have my settings synced. And yeah, after that, you pretty much should be good to go. As you can see, I reconnected my headset into the PlayStation here. And that illustrates the point I was telling you last time that the SharePlay account will be running in the background while you play on your secondary account. Well, play on your main account while this secondary account runs. So yeah, make sure that you definitely have a second account, guys. Trust me, you will thank me later. Now, after that's done, you're pretty much set to go, set to live stream. All you have to do is link your OBS to your Twitch, and you will be getting better quality live streams in no time. So we're going to go ahead and wrap the video up there. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I know this type of video and tutorial is for a very specific type of person. I don't think like a bunch of my subscribers will have much use of this but i'm just making this to help out anybody who's you know in a similar position you know live streams all of that with their playstation 5 might not necessarily have a capture card or maybe you're just curious i don't know but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and catch y'all in the next one it's been your boy archon and i'll catch y'all later <laughs>